What's up, YouTube? I uh, want to give you guys an update on my 90 gallon reef build and give you an unboxing video of this Real Reef Live Rock. Uh, this box here is actually dry or dead. Uh, it's a 60 pounds extra large rock. Uh, the reason why I went with the extra large is because here in the 46, uh, most of the pieces are extra large. Uh, on average, they're about eight, nine pounds each. So. I did take all these out and I weighed them uh, to make sure that I got my 60 pounds. Uh, it was on the money. So nothing to worry about when you guys order from Real Reef. Uh, they'll give you exactly what you pay for. And the reason why I bought it like this, instead of getting it live or cured, um, is because the water will add weight to your rock. So if you order 50 pounds and it comes in, uh, you got to minus the water weight and stuff like that. So you might actually you know lose a few pounds in the mix but this is what it looks like guys it's in there nice and neat and another reason why I ordered it like this or you know decided to go this way is because um, you know my local fish store he has a bunch of these inside of a holding tank uh, you know they're connected with a system and you know people go in there and juggle these things around and they get big chips and these small white spots that you see they're not too bad but you know some people really don't care and they kind of toss them around and uh, they get pretty big uh, broken spots so and I think it's kind of ugly so I'm gonna take these out and show you what they look like and you know the differences between the racks they got a lot of nooks and crannies a lot of holes you know for your invertebrates and uh, nocturnal animals in your tank to hide in and they won't get messed with during the day and uh... they'll be safe you know for anybody taking little nips on them this is the smallest rock that came with it uh... it's four pounds now even though they said it's dry or not live once upon a time you can tell it has been in the ocean you can see all these little shells that are stuck to the bottom and there's like small plant life um, you know but overall I think this rock is awesome and mainly because they have these little like little cliffs if you want to call it uh, little small plates and they're like kind of perfect landing spots for a piece of coral you can see this bottom parts a little smooth and then up here is a little more rugged where you can tell like how it was sitting in the water and you can see there's life on this rock too. There's a lot of tube worms and little dead worms uh, stuck to the rock still. But you can see how this big flat piece here on top will obviously be facing up when I put it in the tank. Uh, that's what I mean by these little like platforms. Nice easy placement for the coral. So I'll, I'll just go ahead and take these all out. These ones here are actually the bigger ones out of the group. Um, see if I can get them out nice and easy without scuffing them these are artificially painted so this is a dye made to look like the coralline algae but you know when you go to a saltwater show or an event you know most of the display tanks are filled up with this real reef rock and that's because they want to give you the coralline look and they don't want to have to go through the cycling process and kind of give you a you know a finished looking kind of tank and with this real reef rock you can definitely achieve it fast um, but this rock does grow coralline algae on it so uh, it's got a nice porous surface for a lot of things to grab onto it so being artificial is not a bad thing it's actually a good thing guys because you are saving the reef when you purchase real real reef so uh, here's the last piece this one's huge this one's real heavy. It's probably the between this one and that one. I think these were like uh, 11 or 12 pounds each. So I mean, you could take a chisel and a hammer, crack these things into two pieces, and you know, work with your aquascape a little bit. And you can see some of the stuff that was on the rocks is actually at the bottom of the box now. Not a really good smell coming out of that thing. So I'm probably gonna get myself. Uh, a bucket filled with some RO and you know a little brush and kind of scrub some of this stuff off before I actually 
put it inside this tank to start cycling. Uh, I did grab a little piece here uh, out of my 46 to start seeding it. That was actually a very, very nice piece of live rock that got this tank nice and seeded. And all the rock that's inside here is already seeded and it's got all kinds of great stuff growing on it. So I'm going to put this one in here. I'll put these inside here and then I'm going to grab a few pieces out the 46 to help seed it so, some more and slowly kind of remove some of the pieces of rock from here and put it in the 90 uh, but I don't want to mess with the biological filtration uh, too rapidly so I'm going to do it slowly and I'll probably add some uh, pieces of PVC for the fish to hide in because uh, slowly the rock's going to be disappearing and I might take away some of their sleeping spots so uh, I'm going to take my time with this I'm not going to rush them but I do have my four inch sand bed and I kind of want to get some of the rock in there now because you can see the sand bed is being pushed around but I think that's due to my return pump being too strong uh, coming from the returns and then uh, kind of bumping heads with my MP40s and then being pushed straight down into the sand so I'm going to go ahead and clean these guys up and get them in the tank and kind of map myself out uh, an aquascape so as I'm putting them together and adding these uh, I can kind of flow with it uh, it is something that does take a while so it ain't gonna happen overnight so but that's what it looks like when you open a 60 pound box of real reef live rock uh, it's actually dry but benefits of getting it this way is minus the pesty hitchhikers um, I did get a couple of those uh, Mojave or Mojavo uh, anemones and started with one and he just started popping out other ones next to him so I'm being a little more careful this time I'm not gonna be grabbing anything that's cured from somebody else uh, because you never know what kind of hitchhikers he has in his tank or your local fish store has in their tank this is what it looks like guys uh, if you want some more information you can go to this website here, realreefrock.com, and they got a nice video explaining the benefits of buying their rock and how you're saving the environment. Happy reefing.